how to make smooth looking 3D camera movement in After Effects. That's what I'm going to show you guys in this video. So let's get started right away. Here I have my like render and I just put a white solid as a background. Now then what I want to do is add a camera. So you want to go to layer, new, and then here you can add a camera just like that. And just click on uh, OK. And now we have a 3D camera and nothing really happens because we want to add a couple nulls. So here you can see uh, that I've put one, two, three, four, five uh, markers. So we're going to add five nulls. So you want to once again go to a layer, um, new, and then click null object. So now we have five nulls. And what we're going to do is here you have this like a uh, parent pick whip and you want to parent the camera to the first null and then the first null to the second null and then the second null to the third null we're going to make these nulls a 3d layer now if you don't see this right here then you probably have it like turned off so you want to click on uh one of these two or toggle the switches right here um and then you want to enable the 3d layer also uh, make sure that your render is a 3D layer. Um, so then I'm just going to uh, press P on my keyboard and you'll see the position. So this position is from right to left. This position is from top to bottom. And this one is the Z axis. So that's going to like zoom in and out. But don't confuse this with uh, a skill because a skill is just a, as you can see, it's like a regular... Uh, scale. So if you were to have like multiple objects in your scene and uh, you change the Z uh, axis for those objects, then if you zoom in and out, then they will like move in perspective, like in real life, where when you're further away from something, it will move slower. And when you're close to something, it will move really fast. So that's the Z axis. That's why you want to use this instead of the scale. Um, so then I'm just going to do some movement. So I'm just kind of going to do something random. I'm just going to zoom into her face a little. And then I'm just going to keyframe this. Go to about right here in the middle of these two keyframes. Put it there. Another keyframe. Zoom out a little. And then I'm just going to something like this. This is fine. I'm going to select both of these keyframes. Press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Open up the graph editor. And you want to make sure it's set on speed graph. Then you want to just graph it like this like so and then your first transition is something like this then what we're going to do is press p on the uh, second null and we're going to start the transition like a little bit before the actual marker so right about here maybe uh, put a keyframe right there and then go to the uh third like um marker and then we're going to like zoom in a little something like here maybe i'm just doing some random movement by the way uh but you can do whatever you want so you don't have to copy what i do um, and i'm just showing you guys how it like kind of works so then once again you want to select both keyframes press f9 open up the graph editor maybe a little bit smoother but the reason why you want to like overlap these nulls and these keyframes is because if you do this you will have like constant movement without like stiff scenes between them. So this is like already like kind of smooth. It has like constant movement throughout the whole clip. You kind of just want to get a feeling like what to do with this. So once you've done these, then it's kind of just the same process. So you want to once again, open up P, start right about like in the middle or something between these two keyframes, uh, maybe one frame forward, put a keyframe right there, go to the marker. Once again, F9 graph editor, and grab it like so so this is kind of what you're going to do like throughout the whole thing if you think it's like too like not smooth enough then what you can do is open up the graph editor and simply like make your graph a little bit smoother or what you can do is just move a frame backwards so you have like more room and then just adjust the graph so it's a little bit smoother like so yeah i kind of like that more 
And yeah, now I'm just going to add some text. So now right here, I have my text. Um, it's just like this text right here. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And what, I've what I'm going to do is select all of these layers. Once again, make them a 3D layer as well, like this. It might seem that they disappeared, but they are now like right there in the middle of your scene. So what you want to do is go to all the way to the beginning of your clip, turn off like most of the text, except for the first one, press P on your keyboard and move them to the position you want. So I am going to uh, make it a little bit smaller, but basically what you want to do is um, what I talked about before is the Z axis. So if you put it like further uh, away from the camera, it will move like less with the camera movement. And if you put it closer, it will move a lot. So I'm going to put it about like negative 250 maybe. And now you notice that it's like way too big. So then what you can do is just scale it a little bit smaller like so. And then I'm going to enable the second text. And I'm going to check where I want to put this. Now, this is kind of a good position, but what you want to kind of do is put the text in the middle of your like screen so i'm gonna once again put this a little bit like so and then make it smaller um yeah this seems like a nice place as you can see right here the way it moves with the camera like in perspective that's what you kind of want and then i'm gonna enable the other text put this one right about here once again try to put it in the middle of the screen like so this is kind of nice. Yeah, and then I'm going to enable the last text. Since this is like zoomed uh, out all the way, I'm going to put this one like really close to the camera like this. So I'm going to put the Z axis a lot. So like kind of have this going on. I'm going to put it a little bit in the middle, make it just a little bit smaller. just a little bit cleaner like so. And I'm going to zoom in. And then for the last text, I'm just going to put that on her face like so. This makes it a little bit smaller. And then what I'm going to do, though, is now you have kind of like two of these texts uh, in your screen. So what I'm going to do is once the first thanks right here, this text is out of the screen, I'm going to cut the layer so you don't see it anymore. And... So then it's gone. And then once like right about here, I'm going to put the video layer in the screen. So you kind of have like first you see thanks and then the thanks is gone. And once you see her face again, it is now the video. So you don't want to have like the text overlap each other because it looks kind of ugly. Um, a little like extra thing what you can do is for this part right here that should be this null right there. Yes. What you can do is add a little bit of a rotation. So I'm going to put it like a little bit uh, going to put it to 5 I think. Put a keyframe right here. Press U on your keyboard so you can see all the keyframes. And then here you want to just put this back to 0. Then I'm going to grab basically the exact same as these others. So you got a little bit of a rotation which looks pretty clean. But since you rotate it on this scene, you also want to rotate back again on this scene. So first I'm going to press P on my keyboard. Then I'm going to hold Shift and R so I can see exactly where the keyframes are. But still uh, see the rotation keyframes. Then I'm going to just put this to negative 5 to, ro to rotate backwards. And then I'm going to once again do the same exact graph. Yeah, so this is kind of the movement. Um, I kind of dislike the this text right here because it's like too short. Like you don't see it a lot like in the screen. Um, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and just put this a little bit like so. So now I believe it's a little bit longer inside of your screen. Yeah, that's that's kind of nice. So this is kind of it basically. And then what you can also do is just add some motion blur. So enable it right there and just add some motion blur on the text and such. So once you render it, then it will look like really smooth. This might be a little bit too smooth. So I'm going to just go to composition settings and to advance and just change the shutter angle, maybe like 60. This might be a little bit better. Now we kind of got the text as you can see. 
and the motion blur. And what's also pretty clean to do is add some uh, optical flares. So what you want to do is add an adjustment layer. So just press Control, Alt, and Y like so to add an adjustment layer or just go to layer new. And you can also add it here. Then you want to type in optical flares like so. And here you can go to the options and you're going to go to the preset browser and add like all of these uh all, the, all these kinds of like presets for example real sun it's pretty cool then you want to make sure the source type is set on 3d because it's a 3d uh, camera of course and then you want to put it to over original and then we have like this uh, sort of light then uh, what you can also do is add some 3d text so instead of this like plain black text you can change that to 3d text now i've made already a tutorial about uh, how to make clean looking 3d text so uh, you can click on there as well and once you've done that it will look like this and this is like super clean as you can see it looks pretty cool um so once you know how to like make the 3d text for my other tutorial uh it's actually pretty easy you just have to uh add the text like you did the regular text they're just multiple layers and add that into the scene so that is kind of it i hope this video helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked i'll see you next time have a good day